Good afternoon, students. This is Dr. Mullins coming to you live from the uh, General Chemistry Lab on Tuesday, February 17th. Uh, we've been out of class now for a couple days, and we're going to be some more, it looks like, unfortunately. So um, I guess enjoy the snowy weather. But while we're at it, I want to give you a little bit of a heads up or a little bit of a lesson on a couple things again here to remind us. So I want to start off looking at the Arrhenius equation. I know I misspelled it looking at it now here, but looking at the Arrhenius equation, um, remember we see that we saw this the other day, K, the rate constant, uh, which can have different units depending on the order of the reaction, um, equals A, our frequency factor, times an exponential of negative E sub A over RT. So remember we can take the natural log of both sides, and we get the natural log of k equals natural log of a plus, if we take the natural log of an exponential, it pulls out. So if we see there on a yellow line, we've got now the natural log of k equals natural log of a minus e sub a over rt, which we could obviously reverse those, la those things on the right side and have negative e sub a over rt um, plus the natural log of a. So we should see here now, this is similar in form to the clausius clapeyron equation, right, where we have a straight line, right? It's obviously a different unit, it's different things here, but like that we can have a plot, in this case the natural log of the rate constant versus 1 over t, which if we see in our blue color here on the uh, board, right, remember b, um, B is the natural log of A, our frequency factor, the y-intercept. Y is the natural log of our rate constant. The slope is the negative E sub A over R. So if we determine the slope from a plot of data, plotting the natural log of rate constant versus 1 over temperature in Kelvin from a series of measurements, right? we can get the slope of that line, and from that we can solve by multiplying the slope times negative r, we get E sub a, our activation energy. Um, likewise, if we don't have a plot, we have just a couple temperatures and rate constants, we could get E sub a, or solving for something else using this two-point form as shown here on the bottom, much like we did with Clausius clapeyron for um, heats of vaporization and such. So, um, with this, we're going to take a moment, I'm going to pause, and I'm going to, we're going to look at an example problem. Okay, so let's look at this problem now here. The example problem here shown says, find the rate constant at 310 Kelvin if the rate constant at 370 Kelvin is 7 molar, or 7 reciprocal molar per reciprocal second. So that, one thing we should remember that that rate constant with these units should indicate to us that we have a second order reaction. Now that's not really critical for determining the other uh, rate constant, but it, it should have the same units. We're getting blurry here for some strange reason, but anyway, try to fix that, but we can say that the activation energy for the reaction is 900 kilojoules per mole. So I'm going to stop for a moment and work this out on the board, and then I'll try to bring us back here. Okay, now folks, we can see this worked out problem. So what I did first was identify the variables and what we needed to know. Want to solve for K2, know all the other four factors here. So we plug those in now. Remember, we can take, if we take the natural log of something over something else. It's the same as subtracting natural log of, so in this case, K2 minus natural log of 7, right? And so then we worked through everything. Um, the things in parentheses, the 1 over temperatures came out to like 5.2 times 10 to the minus 4, 1 over Kelvin. The negative 900,000 joules per mole divided by the R in the right correct units, 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. Make sure that we use the appropriate units and always list our units when we're working out problems. Um, notice those units cancel out. And then if we take natural log of anything, it's unitless. So now we have the natural log of K2 minus 1.95 roughly 
equals negative 56.62. Uh, we can add those terms and we get negative 54.67. To get pull out a natural log, we'll take the exponential of it. So we get K2 equals then, by taking the exponential on both sides, K equals exponential of negative 54.67, which works out to be about 1.8 times 10 to the minus 24 per molar per second. So remember we started with at 370 Kelvin, at 7 molar per second, per molar per second. At 310 Kelvin, the rate is much, much, much smaller, right? We're talking about about 24 orders, 25 orders of magnitude smaller, right? But that's a 60 degree temperature decrease, right? Remember our rule of thumb that with every 10 degrees, we can assume at least about a doubling of the rate. Now, the rate constant is not the rate. The second order as well. So remember, that has a big impact here. So this is not surprising. We should get a smaller rate constant, slower rate constant at a slow, lower temperature. Or if we were working the other way, we should get a higher rate constant at a higher temperature. Right? Making sure we have our units. Making sure we work through the problem carefully into our work. Um, I would advise you to practice a few of these in addition to just the ones in the homework. Um, be comfortable with it and know how to set these up. Remember that on an exam, setting up the problem, working out the process is far more important than whether you get the absolute correct answer, as you'll see when you get exam one back. Um, anyway, there will be more video coming up. Uh, I want to remind you we have a sapling problem set number four due this week. Um, it's still listed as being due tomorrow night, the 18th, but seeing how we won't We'll probably not also have class tomorrow. I'm going to probably back that up. Pay attention to your email for um, further information on that. Uh, but do keep working. I will uh, post at least one more video on Chapter 13 here very, very shortly. So good luck. Like I said, enjoy your snow break, but um, don't uh, neglect your, your uh, studying too much. All right. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.